Hello everyone, welcome into my craft space. Today I have the pleasure of sharing with you my portion of the How Boho Can You Go uh, collaboration hosted by Rachel and Bella Crafts. And let me tell you, we are halfway done, but man, we've gone boho so far already. So many great pre presenters and I am honored and blessed to be a part of this uh, collaboration. Thank you so much, Rachel from Rachel and Bella Crafts for all that you do to continue to put on these fabulous collabs and uh if you've missed the list of the lineup we've had some really great crafters so far and we still have so many more to go so definitely check out the description box below if you have missed anyone so my boho journal has definitely taken a different turn from what i had envisioned in my head um <laughs> i thought it was going to be mostly pinks and blues uh because i had a pink sari that um pink sari silk that i wanted to use and i did play with some of that i came up with some wonderful um sorry using one of the presenters uh idea and made some fun little um sorry strips but uh, then i saw this fabric this was actually um a piece of a window valance this fabric and i knew i needed to use it um, then the next thing that came to me was this wonderful uh, dream catcher and I knew I wanted to use that too. So I did create a YouTube live where I put together this cover. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. It was fun. I've used some sparkle windows, uh, which is what Shinuki from Shinuki Arts uh, came up with the idea for this laminated glitter sparkle windows. I absolutely love it and I use it constantly. I'll be using a little bit of that today. Uh, but today my portion um, of the collab here is to show you some of the fun ways I really like to use the envelopes uh, that are in our digital kits. And Rachel put several of them in there this time in the Bohemian Girl uh, kit by Rachel Bella Crafts. Links to everything will be in the description box, so don't miss that out. Uh, if you haven't already caught this bohemian bug from all of us <laughs> from doing these wonderful colors and uh so much fun i've got lace and sari and all the things and i'm just having a really great time so uh let's get into what i plan to do with these envelopes i've already got them all cut out just to save us a little bit of time here and like i said there are several in this kit i have printed most of these uh double-sided so that there is something on the inside and i wouldn't have to line them but you can do all kinds of great things with them so um here we go so in my journal i have what i call a slipped spine here it's just a spine made of elastic so we can slip things in and out and that plays a huge part in what we're going to be doing with all of our fun envelopes today so again these are envelopes from the digital kit which i have already cut out and folded and then just some pieces of cardstock now that your second piece of paper here you can make it um, any kind that you'd like whether it be another piece of digital printed paper um, or what have you i'm going to go ahead and use cardstock because i want it to be a little bit sturdy as we slip it around here and into the spine so it just is going to go like this uh, then we're going to take our envelopes and um I've got a couple different ways i'm going to show you today so the first way here we're going to take our envelope and we're just going to put it all the way up here and you can you can do with this like the sky's the limit guys you can um, you can glue this back piece onto the back back here so that the pink is just flat and that's what you see you can glue it so that it's a pocket on the side so you can put a little notch over here and it makes a pocket you can make it so that this is also a pocket back here uh, for this one we're going to make several of them so for this one i'm just going to go ahead and glue the cardstock right to the back of the envelope here And then we'll turn this envelope into a pocket. Well, I mean, I guess it's an envelope, so it's already kind of a pocket, right? <laughs> okay, so just like this, we'll go ahead and glue this little part right here and glue this part right here. So we're just going to use it just like an envelope would be 
except for now it's going to be able to go ahead and slip right in here and our envelope is going to be this way whereas normally it's not able to go that way in our books and in this side you can just decorate uh, however you would normally decorate um, your junk journals i might go ahead and slip uh, a little tag onto this one let's see i had them sitting right here there we go so since this is a smaller piece here you could also put this um, as a tag back here and make this like a little um, another little pocket or even a little belly band and it just slips around like this which i think is absolutely fabulous let's see is that the one i want this one's pink let's choose this one i absolutely love these tags these are so fabulous so we're gonna go ahead and glue this one just on here and I probably will put some trim right here so it looks beautiful and finished and all the things I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this one down and what's fun about this is that you could um, Use this part right here for a photo, maybe some journaling around it, whatever you would like to do. I constantly get asked, what do you do with these books when you're done? Uh, well, you do whatever it is that you would like, <laughs> however you so feel inspired. Um, be it journal with them, make them like a little mini scrapbook. Um, any of those types of things are all acceptable things to do with the junk journal. So we could even use this little bit of trim right here and put it on the side of this one. so and then that would flip around I'm not sure I like that though with the ribbon maybe I'll just put a piece of lace there uh, so let's keep moving on with our envelopes the focus of this video is supposed to be our uh, envelopes so again we've just got a little pocket right there we can put anything that we'd like even some of these little tiny envelopes yes they too can fold up and just go right in here and then when you take it out of there you can unfold it this one i did not uh, print double-sided uh, so you can actually take um, a pen and just write in your little journaling or put a secret message or a special photo or something right in there okay so there's our first one i have three signatures in this book so we'll go ahead and keep moving on and putting some fun envelope pages in here and they can go anywhere in your journal that you'd like. They don't just have to be in the center of the signature. So what I mean by that, this one for instance here, let's go ahead and take, this is a little different style of an envelope. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one through here and we'll figure out where it's going. There it is. And that is, so this page this page here becomes a small little page, which is great. You can make it um, a little belly band onto this page if you want. You can just glue it right in and it's like a little tuck spot or belly band. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do this one. Now this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and um, snip this one little piece off of the envelope here. And it's really easy to do this because you can see the outline grid um, for the envelopes. Okay, and we're going to keep this one. So then we're going to go ahead and glue this in here in such a way that this becomes a pocket. So I've got some glue strings there. And I want to go ahead and notch just this end right here don't have to notch them if you don't like them notched and then we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of ink uh, I'm using Uncharted Mariner Distress Ink and just go ahead and put that just around the edges okay and then we're gonna go ahead and put glue just along uh, the the bottom and then the three the two sides <laughs> the three sides all right Boy, here we go words are hard when you hit that record button sometimes I don't know what happens but they just slip away okay here we go go ahead and go 
glue this guy right in here. And then we'll make sure that this can still fold up and fold out. And then this becomes like a little flap covering the pocket. And then you can see the page just folds into this envelope, which is absolutely beautiful. And then when you open it, you can uh, put a little note in there, a little tag in there, um, or whatever it is that you would like in there. And of course, you can still decorate this. You can put all the trims and all the things. We obviously don't want to do too much decorating over here because we want this to still be able to flip flap open like this. Uh, but it is a little tag spot now. You can see we can put our little whatever it is we want to put in there. Okay. So let's do another one. These are so fun. You'll find yourself making all kinds of envelope pages. And are we in the third signature? No, we're in the second one. So let's put something in the third one. I keep forgetting the signature. I usually only do, you know, two signatures most typically. And so then this one I made with three and I am struggling to remember to put all the things in here. This one will be a great one because, um, it's nice and wide, so uh, it will do exactly what I was hoping to do here really easily. Let's find the center just because I think it'll be easier uh, to put this around. So, okay, our little paper is in there. Now, if you're starting this from scratch, what you want to do is just make sure that your paper that's going this way, no matter how long it is, um, is the same width or smaller as the inner, the inner part of your envelope here. Hopefully that makes sense. Whew. Okay. Um, now you can match up here and you can take a divot out of here if you want to. You can leave it a pocket like this if you want to. Usually what I like to do is make sure that it's covering this portion. So see how these ones have kind of like a valley. I like to make sure that it's all the way at least over to here so that when you open this up, it's nice and one color. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this one in just like we did that last one. Except for, um, do I want to put, yeah, let's put a divot. Why not? There we go. I'm glad that went as well as it did. I'm used to using a bigger punch for my little divots and it I have broken two this last week <sighs> so and I can't even say it's because they don't make them like they used to um, I guess it's just because they're too old <laughs> they need replacing and then I went to the store yesterday to replace them and the store didn't have any so on to the next store or I'm gonna have to order it online okay so let's go ahead and glue this one in here. I just want it to be at the end. And um, this one, I am gonna have to glue this top line here because I want it to be a pocket over here. Now you definitely don't have to. You could make it be a pocket at the top and not on the side. But let's just go ahead, since we've already got it notched. All right, let's put it in sort of straight at least. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, make sure it still closes. Make sure it still closes. Make sure it still folds over here. Okay. So that one will fold up. This one will fold down. This one will fold in here. Now, these pieces that were in the collection, um, that's not the one I wanted. I already have a little stash of these inked somewhere. Where'd they go? Oh, here we go. 
Okay, so these are beautiful. These were printed out um, four on a page and they fit, ah, oh, look at that, that just fits perfectly. So we can put this in here. Now you have, a, of course, a couple of more choices when it comes to this. Um, to me, this looks like a perfect uh, spot to put some journaling. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it in. Um, but you could make it into a pocket as well. So it's a great place to put maybe some hidden journaling or uh, just for some added interest. And it's right below that notch. It was just meant to be right there. Love it. Okay, and then let's put a little tag in there just so we can see how it looks. Is this going to fit all the way? Maybe. All right, we'll go ahead and put a little punch on this piece of paper here. Make a little tag. And then that will just sit right in there. And when you close this up, it looks just like this. Now you could put a little piece of Velcro in here you could put a paper clip up here, which is what I think I might do. Just put a little paper clip to hold it closed. Of course, you can decorate this in all of the ways that we know uh, to decorate paper clips, which is quite a few, I must say so myself. Um, we do need to put something here so that it is nice and um, secure in there. So again, we could do another tag or another page um, or an envelope. There's all kinds of things um, you can do here. I think I might just glue this here and then that will create another page. But this one will be smaller, of course, which I love. So you can see, you can glue this to any, any page that you would like here. Let's see, what if I do? This, this way and that could go in there and then that could be another little pocket so that is just kind of a shorter page and then this either becomes a pocket so we'll just glue this in and cover this over uh, which I'm not going to do because we're just going to be focusing on uh, the rest of these envelopes see and I don't know if I like that because then we have this page back here so I probably won't do it like that. <laughs> Figuring this out all as we go along is half of the fun, right? Um, so yeah, so we'll just probably do this uh, like we did the other one. We could put a tag there or um, another piece of our skinnier paper here, just whatever you have laying around, you can put in there just like this. And we can then decorate over here or that could even become a tuck spot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another one of these. I have a bunch of them cut out and ready to go just to show you the different ways that you can uh, create the insides. So here is one, this is a smaller one. And these envelopes come in a bunch of different sizes in these kits. So you can see I took my cardstock and just made sure that it would fit uh, inside here uh, height wise. And then um, I decided where I wanted it to be as far as uh, the side goes. And then um, I put in a fold here so that we can have a little page. Let's put one here. Uh, this book has created so much fun uh, and interesting um, looks and pages and designs and I absolutely love the colors. <laughs> love, 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 love the boho stuff. Okay, so let's just go along here so that we can uh, see it really easily. Okay, so I just slid that right into my book. Um, again, it's the slipped spine that allows me to be able to do that. So let's come down just a little closer. Let's pull this down so we can move this also up or down however we want. And 
for this one, I think I'm going to glue the, um, we're going to make a little notch up here. Okay. And then we're going to glue these little pieces to this back here to our cardstock, our little flaps to the cardstock. So we're just going to put glue right here, right here, and then at the bottom of the cardstock. And then you can see what that has done is made a pocket right there. And it's nice and solid here. So you still have room to write here and here. Uh, but then we have this piece here, which gives you um, a whole other element to decorate and uh, do some things with as far as like maybe putting a photo or um, putting these. This is too big for this piece, but you know, you could put something sort of like that. You could put um, a tag going sideways here, or you can just leave it how it is. If you glued this one down here, then you'd have a double pocket. And I think that would be beautiful as well. But I think I'm going to leave this one so that it's there to journal. And then that just makes a nice and skinny page. And you can see on the other side of this one, uh, that just gives us a little short page. And that's okay too. We can put um, you know, any of the things that we like to put there, including more envelopes. <laughs> so we could glue these envelopes here like this. Who says we have enough envelopes or tuck spots in a junk journal? Says no one ever, right? <laughs> so these could easily just go uh, and be glued here for decorative purposes or even just to open up and have notes. Um, okay, so then there's another one there. Let's put another one in here. Now that is a little, this was an envelope that I cut a circle out of. And um, that is another thing you can do with these. Let's make sure I have the right papers here. This one, I think goes with this one. Yes, perfect. Okay, so, so this one has um, these kind of more bigger flaps here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out. Just like that, just cut the one so I can have one as a little flap. And then that would go in here. And since I've already got the sparkle window at the top, uh, we can go ahead and use one of our circle punches. Make a little circle here. And then um, we can use some of our laminated glitter to create another sparkle window um, as we put this in to our journal here. Let's see, let's find a little spot where I've got a lot of glitter and um, can just use a little piece of it. All right, <laughs> here we go. around here. Don't need a lot, we just need a little to cover that circle there. So let's figure out uh, which way this is going to go. We could put this at the top or the bottom. I think I kind of more like it at the top. So let's put, let's snip that off. We don't want anything into the crease there, so we'll just go ahead and snip that piece right off. And we're going to put some of our glue right around the window that we are creating. Now you want to make sure this dries before you push it into your envelope, otherwise um, it'll just be stuck down. Um, this will glue to this and that's not what we were hoping for here. Oops. Okay, 
and while that is drying there's actually some little circles now if you use a bigger circle up here is your window you could put these in the window um, i think i'm just going to try and put this little bit of a butterfly right there though uh, because then it'll have some of that sparkly glitter and i love the glitter okay let's see so this is the same size as the hole that we punched down there so we'll just go ahead and use it again here Then we'll glue this, let's see. So this is gonna be, yep, at the top like this. So we wanna make sure we glue this guy, right? Oops, right going this way. Like that. Now it's not gonna be um, a glossy window that you can see through or anything like that, but that's okay. Um, now on this part, you can use um, tape because we're not going to see this. And you just want to keep it nice and smooth back there. This is kind of our construction area, as I always like to call it. Here we go. Just get off some of this. This is just painter's tape. And we're going to place it kind of over this um, laminate as well. So that way there are no unfinished edges for anything to catch on as we put something into our pocket. So we're just going to kind of cover over both that piece of paper and the edges there. Let's get another little piece. I don't know what I've done to my tape roll here, but it's... It's got some weird strips going on. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then one here as well. And a couple more pieces here. I just want a little piece along that edge. And that's probably okay having that little piece there. All right, so let's see how it looks on this side. Ah, oh, perfect. You can see our little window and the glitters. Okay, so this one, we wanna still make sure it folds. And it's gonna go right here. So we'll put a little notch just because I've notched the other ones and it'll make it be a little bit of a cohesive design carrying that all the way through there. There we go. And let's see, where can this? This can just slip in somewhere. We'll find a place right here, I think. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and slip this part in first. And somewhere it'll show you where the other side is. There we go. Okay. I'm going to scooch this guy up here, and then we're just going to glue just um, the two sides on the bottom. Oops, a little bit at the bottom. Put a little bit under there, but I don't want a lot because I don't want that to glue, <laughs> glue it closed right there. So let's make sure that's no glue. Okay, so now this just folds right up here. This is like our little lid. And that forms our little envelope. Now, if we wanted to, um, you know, you could fold this one here and make it a little pocket rather than having this. So many different ways you can do these, and I absolutely 
love them. I love how simple they are. Um, I love how it makes it part of the page. I personally love using envelopes in my junk journals and um, it's so nice to be able to just use the whole envelope as the page going horizontally, uh, which I love, 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 if I didn't say that enough already. <laughs> okay, so then on this side, where to go? This side, maybe we will put one of our other tags. use one with the butterfly since this is a butterfly page right here and on this one it does go all the way across so this could just be a really wide belly band and we could put some trim here so let's go ahead and glue it like a belly band and in order to do that we'll just go ahead and put some glue just on the outside edge where that paper is. Put this right in there. Make sure it's kind of straight-ish. <laughs> okay. So then we can slip another tag right back in there, or you guessed it, we could put another one of our little envelopes right in here like this. And I love that too, because then you can just pull it out and have a little extra notebook right there, a little note card. Okay. I feel like this definitely needs a little piece of some sort of trim, so let's find some trim. I think I have decided on this one. Let's take this out for a second. Uh, to just make this have two eyelets right here. And I'm gonna use a 3 16 eyelets. And we'll put one right here. And then I'm gonna turn this just so it's a little easier to work on here. And then we'll go ahead and put one over here as well. Ugh. I have the dog and cat trying to communicate that they are hungry. <laughs> they are not the best YouTube video producing buddies. Hey, no. And then they're beating up on each other too. <laughs> Good grief. All right, so we've got our eyelets in. And I did notice on this one, I went off of this paper here just a little bit, but that's not going to matter because we're gonna put some trim in there. And I have this fun yarn that I think is gonna look just beautifully. But I do want both strands to go through. And I think that's also one of the fun things about boho is that you can never have enough to enough or too much trim. <laughs> so trim as much as you want and uh, just have fun with it. Make it look beautiful. Okay, I got one piece. I can get the other side. And then we'll just go ahead and pull this through quite a ways. I want to wrap it twice and then let the rest hang down at the end. Just go ahead and stick this bow through there. stringy piece is going to catch me every time I think. Goodness. There we go. Got it. Okay. And then we'll go back up 
right here. the piece that was collected there we go I have that one and I have this one okay I do have them both now don't not <laughs> there we go like a little bit more than that there we go okay so we're just gonna put these two pieces back through this eyelet here and then we'll just tie a knot and let it hang down like a little bit of a dangle But first, I guess I need to snip it off over here, or it's going to really be a dangle. <sighs> Still attached to the spool. Okay, so this one, I'm going to just go ahead and tuck it underneath of here. So it just kind of wraps around a bit. And then we'll tie it down here just in a knot and here is a spot where you can add some charms you can add some beads or you can just leave it be uh, this fun um, yarn fibers that they are no fancy knotting here just a square knot to tie this over and leave it just like that. Okay, now we can put our little envelope note card back up here. And you still have room. Oh, maybe. Maybe we'll have to use one of the other ones because that made it a little more narrow. Here we go. We can do one just like this. Uh, you still have room to put a photo or some more journaling here or another um, tag. You could even slip this in this way if you wanted to. Um, like a little belly band this way. Maybe that will go in back there. Okay, probably put some glue on one of those sides, but I think that turned out well. And then this is what it looks like on this side with our tag here, uh, of which I definitely will put some Nouveau drops because I always think things with wings need to sparkle and where's the one I did over here? I did Nouveau drops and um, some stickles and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, where is it? Right here, look at this one. How fun is that? Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed my portion of the How Boho Can You Go collaboration hosted by Rachel Bella Crafts, uh, where I showed you how to use all of our digital envelopes to make all kinds of fun envelope pages uh, that are also tuck spots and um, so that you can have a horizontal envelope in your journal. I hope you will try this in some of your journals. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks to uh, Rachel again for all that she has done for this wonderful collaboration. To my fellow creatives and collaborators, thank you so much. And of course, to you, the viewers, thank you so much for watching. We would greatly appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, comment, do all of the things. Make sure you do that for all of the creatives. And I will see you next time in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.